fortress. Hello and welcome out to the crypt where we look for old school games. Today we'll be taking a look at Air Fortress for the NES. Released in 1989, this game was developed and published by HAL Laboratory. Now is this classic worth a second look, or should you have just left this one in the air? Now available for $49.95 plus postage and handling. This game, I believe, is very original in its gameplay because it actually has two distinct games within every level. Let me explain a bit. There are air base sections and air fortress sections of every level. The air base sections are shmups that you get through and are very important for a few reasons. Reason 1, you collect health for the air fortress part of the stage and collecting certain items after you destroy the enemies. You also collect missiles which are used in the fortresses and believe me, you're going to want to collect a lot of both but I will explain why later. Alright, so you made it past the shmup part. It's not so bad most of the time. Now you're in the fortress where the game turns into an action platformer. The objective is to find the fortress core, destroy the core, and make back to your ship before the whole place explodes. Now, as I said before, you will need a lot of health and missiles because, well, this game is excruciatingly hard! Especially in later levels. When you get about to stage 3, you'll feel the level of the game increase a lot. By the time you get to stage 6, you're going to want to throw your nest pad at the wall. Basically, it gets to the point where the enemies take a lot of damage to die, and it takes forever to find the core and get back to your ship, because the levels turn into mazes. The last thing I want to talk about in terms of the gameplay is the controls. They will not take you very long to get used to, as there aren't that many. When in the base part of things, it's like any other shmup, move and shoot, very simple. When inside the fortress, you have a few more things you need to worry about. You can shoot normal shots and missiles collected from earlier. When moving around, you actually float, which is cool, granted, but it takes away from your health. Now, it isn't permanent once you land, it does come back, but it does add to the difficulty of the game, because sometimes you will just be floating along, minding your own business, when you notice your health is almost gone, so you think to yourself, hey! I need to land, then BAM! You get shot once and then you die. Anyways, I digress. The game looks good for its time. Although it's not very colorful, which is sad, you can distinctly tell who your character is because he is bright orange. There isn't a whole lot to say about the graphics, it's just 8-bit glory. The music for this game is nothing short but epic. There are two main songs you'll be hearing, the bass song and the fortress tune. Both are very good songs and just get you into the mood to be on this adventure. So the final thing to discuss is, will you be coming back to Air Fortress after you beat it? Short answer? Yes. The game, although very hard, has this charm and addictiveness to it. It doesn't seem to matter how many times you die, which will be a lot, you will want to come back. Plus, if you beat all eight fortresses, you know the code, you can unlock eight more. And believe me, they're a lot harder. In conclusion, Air Fortress is a really good game with some awesome music. The one and only thing blogging it down is the difficulty. On eBay, you can buy this game for around $4. And it definitely gets a buy.